What's up, family? What's up? It's your girl, Athena Shanice, and welcome back. Hey! It's your girl. You can call me Athena, Thethi, or Thickums, whichever one you like, girl. So, I am doing my last thrift haul, okay? I'm telling y'all, I am done thrifting, okay? For the month of February. <laughs> so you guys, I posted a video probably last month or something like that <clears throat> where I went shopping in January. And so I said, okay, unintentionally, the items were left in the kitchen unwashed. So I, I don't think I'm going to be trying anything on today. And so I just wanted to like run through what I picked up and just kind of show you guys what I picked up. So let's go. If this is something you're interested in, keep on watching, comment, like, subscribe. If you love these type of videos, chat with me below. Share me with your friends, your mama and them, your daddy, your sister and them, you know, everybody. Everybody is welcome. Um, I'm trying to make this quick trying to do less editing because it's taco tuesday happy taco tuesday and um <clears throat> hubby and i are waiting for the state of the address state of the union address i think that's what it's called you know when a president gets up and say what he got to say so i think i want to hear what he has to say so i want to quickly do this and the first bag i picked up was this cute oversized Time and true, still with the tags on, baby. Brand new. Um, crossbody or top handle bag. And they're calling this the color. It's a beach tote, excuse me. It's not telling me what color it is. And then I started this video without my reading glasses on. I don't know why, you know, at this big age. We know we need our glasses. I don't know why I don't have them on. But anyway, um, this is a cute tote. Um, I have a lot of tan totes, but I never, I don't have a yellow oversized tote. It only has one pocket, you know, so it's one of those. I really don't like these bags because I got to dig. So if I don't have like a little container or something to hold the contents it's just like it's just in the bottom of the bag so it was $16.97 at Walmart um according to the video if I remember if I recollect I think green was half off white pink it was like four colors was half off and so uh $9.98 half of $9.98 half of $10 yeah so cute little bag got this nice little I don't know what you call this carpet <laughs> not just playing it's cute little threading I like the I like the handles that that they're not exposed and then this nice little braided um strap so very very nice then the next bag that's closest to me we only have a couple bags four bags this is a TTCU, the credit union. So if you are from Tulsa or Oklahoma, because I'm, I'm assuming this is like an Oklahoma bank, TTCU is one of our credit unions, and I actually bank there. So nice oversized. It is, what size is this? An adult extra large. So this would be cute with just some shorts around the house you know or you know when I bop in and out of the bank you know what I'm saying pulling out all my money paying bills you know what we do as adults okay and that was how much was this it's half of seven dollars six ninety eight half of six ninety eight yeah I was asking the lady at the register like how much everything was costing just to make sure she was bringing it up right you know 
So I just picked that up. That was just a random like, oh, I could use another sweatshirt with a graphic on it around the house. Oh, this is the pajama set that I wanted. It was not silk because I'll be looking for silk. Yeah, I already know. I'll be looking for silk. This is 100% polyester apartment nine. And the cool thing about it, unusually, this particular thrift store that I went to, they had a, I kept running into a couple things that still had like the original tags on them. And so this pajama two piece set from Kohl's size extra large in a color navy was $50. And um, it has satin on, on it, but not all the way throughout. I don't know why. It said satin on here. Cause I'm like, this clearly is polyester. Satin notch pants set navy. Satin notch. I don't know what that means. If that's on just on the collar part. I don't know. But it's cute. It's got that's like a pink stripe, a little bit of a pink um accent color right there little pockets right there like I said and I like the fact that the buttons match that's a nice attention to detail so I guess that's worth $50 but this set was uh $14.95 $14.96 half of $14.96 and um I didn't try it on so I know it's gonna be nice and comfortable and let's see oh no the drawstring doesn't work why do they put drawstrings on there and then they be fake drawstrings? Like, just leave it off. I mean, it's a cute detail because it's already um, tied. But if I needed a little scrunch, you know, which I guess these are going to be low riders because your girl look like she done lost some weight, honey. And things are just 14s fit? I said, 14 who? 14 where? But apparently, I can feel them. But this is the extra large, so it'll be nice and roomy. Oh yeah. This was like, oh, I'm almost done shopping. And I think it was like near the dressing room. And I just was like, oh, this could be cute, like layered. And it's by Universal Thread. It is a one size fit most. That's what the M stands for. And I just thought it was a nice color. I have a lot of cream bags. And I had picked up a half cream and black moon shaped bag from uh, by Ann Klein. So this would be perfect with that. Nice little um, long sleeve knit top or something underneath with a pair of jeans and a pair of heels. So I thought I thought this, I thought I was thinking that this would be cute. This was a white tag, so it was half of $6.98. So yeah, it's got that like, those really big open, I could try it on over this. This, it, it could fit, it would work over this outfit to be honest. But um, yeah, Target brand, nice top, very soft. What is this made out of? Like I said, I be trying to pay attention to the fabrics and stuff. Made in China. Let's see. And y'all know I can't see, so I don't even know why. Okay, it's acrylic, 68 acrylic, 17 nylon, 12% recycled polyester, hand wash, light colors. Okay, cool. 3% spandex. So it's gonna be nice and roomy. It's gonna be cute, oversized. Put me a nice um, blazer over the look. Does that make sense? Like some nice trousers or some nice jeans with a um, long sleeve knit, you know what I'm saying? For a little, uh, for a little warmth and then a blazer on top of that. Maybe a structure blazer or I need to look for me a wool coat, a nice long wool coat. That would be really cute. So I guess I will eventually get around to doing a try on or a style look book or something. And I saw this robe. And for those who know me know that I typically turn my robes into kimonos. 
but this one was labeled kimono and it was not on sale yellow was not on sale i don't believe um one size fits all polyester cotton and it, it came with the belt so i do have the matching belt give this a nice little wash iron her up real good oh yeah and it's like a um it's red, but almost pink. It's kind of light red and white stripes. So yeah, this is really cute. And it's already that kimono style-ish with the sleeves like this. And it's got the pockets. So this would be really, really cute. You can wear it like a robe. You can wear it like a dress and you know, you can wear it like outerwear. Very, very nice. Love it. I've been watching, well, I've been scrolling through Instagram and you see all these love and war, I think it's called, where they take, you know, kimonos and they do different things with them or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I have a pair of cargo, um, kimono pants already and I believe this kimono will this particular print will match the kimonos that are the kimono for it it will match the camo that I already have so I won't have to like manipulate or do anything like that but if I knew somebody who actually you know, changes up camo, then I would give this to them and let them recreate it. Because the young lady on Instagram, her stuff be running $100, $115, $175, you know, and she does all this intricate, she does all these intricate things to the sleeve. She cuts it up, she adds a new piece of fabric, and she just zhuzhes it up or whatever. But me, I'm just, you know, kind of not plain, but I don't, need to do all that <laughs> I mean I will but I don't have to it's one thing when you just like I have to have my kimono converted like take the sleeves off and do this and do that mm -mm, I don't need to do all that let's see half of 1996 and this is from the men's department so I know that it was gonna fit oversized and it's gonna be all big. I mean, I may throw some patches on there or something like that, or, you know, I might put like a graphic or something on the back, an iron on, a press on, something like that. But yeah. You know how you get stuff from like a the NBC or name brand, name brand clothing? I don't know if you guys have that where you're at, but they have items that are basically new and when it came from the manufacturer, someone accidentally marked it or the dye got on it or something like that. So this is by Marika, M-A-R-I-K-A. Um, and so I can wear this as a workout situation. But yeah, just something to hold everything in it's it's pretty sturdy and second bag some nice little gray actually that sports bra would go perfect with this do you ever when you go thrifting or when you just go shopping period it could be at a boutique a thrift shop second hand whatever you want to call it an actual store do you like especially the clearance you go to the clearance section and you're like, okay, let me put an outfit together with the clearance items, okay? None, you know, you have to go to all the clearance racks to find something to match whatever it is that you picked up. That's what I do at the thrift store. Like I will pick up something and be like, oh, now I need to find something to go with. Just in case I don't have anything to go with it at home. This is a Old Navy brand, extra large pair of just a pair of nice wide leg pants. The um, drawstring works. So 
as you, because you just heard me say, I'm a size 14 somewhere on my body is a size 14. So with me having an extra large, that's like, I went up one size or two sizes, depending on the brand. This is probably either a 16 or an 18. So if you like oversized look and you like for it to be a little baggy, go up one or two sizes. But then if I blow up, then these pants will just fit like, they'll be a little fitted in certain areas, you know. Um, they have two pockets on the back and they do function. They were, it was half out of $6.98. So, yeah, no cuts, no splits. I see a little damage spot right here on the, the band. But other than that, there's no peeling. So it's like a, it's probably a polyester blend. It's not linen, but it gave off. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yes, I am. 80%, no, 59% linen and 40 45 or 46 rayon excuse me okay polly and esther i'm sorry everything i picked up was not because i'll be trying to pick up stuff that's not polyester like i want something that's a little bit that'll just hold up a little bit better considering it's second hand so your stronger fabrics silk and you know, rayon and acrylic and wool, those 100% pieces, they're gonna last a little, they, they got a little bit more life in them, you know, if the person took care of them. And so, pick this up, but definitely this is a look. This right here would be a look because they both have that gray tone and then I could put like a, um, what do you call it? A oversized shawl or oversized cardigan yeah a long cardigan over it just to you know go to the movies or run errands or whatever he saw this pair of wide legged pants I'm a, I'm a thick girl so I, I don't like my pants tight on me you know I try not to wear tight clothes I as much as people may or may not know, I don't like wearing tight clothes, okay? But when I put on a dress and it said medium and it wasn't skin tight and I still felt like I had room to like, you know, and it and everything wasn't sagging, you know, I was like, maybe I could wear tight clothes, but this is polyester spandex and this is by Zen. Z Energy, Zenergy by Chico's. Chico's is a good brand and they go by like sizes one, two, three, and this is a three. And it's got, you know, got a little spandex in it, so it's gonna be cute. So this might be like workout clothes or workout gear. These pockets, um, they do function. I won't use them, but got a nice little zipper. It's got the little logo right there. I don't know if that means anything, but attention to detail. Um, the buttons don't match, so they will kind of stand out a little bit. One cargo pocket on the side, but yeah. Just a basic little bodysuit with this, a blazer. I've got tons of robes that I could wear, kimonos. <laughs> that I can wear with this, just kind of jazz it up, zhuzh it up. Some flat little sandals. If I'm, you know, going out for a date night or a brunch or something with my friends. So this is a cute pair of pants. How much was this? Half a six ninety eight. yep. Yeah. Saw this and I was thinking of my boo when I saw this. And it's a cute little sweatshirt. I like the faux turtleneck. Half of three ninety eight. Um. It's a size medium. So when I tried it on last month, I think I went shopping. This might have been December haul. This might be a December haul, to be honest, because I really didn't go shopping during the um, consecration fast, which was 21 days. So I didn't go shopping or anything like this. This might have been before the fast or late December. Um, but yeah, it says there's a place in a in his heart 
for me. So I thought this was really cute. Who was this by? I don't even see a name in it. But I like the little faux turtleneck. And then, isn't that just so cute? It's got the blue, the tan colors that I like. And the bear's sweater is kind of raised. The flower, it is like puffy a little bit. So it's kind of got like some texture. The shirt has some texture in her. Then she's got a little cute little bow on. There's a place in his heart for me. I thought that was so cute. And as I was, you know, coming to the end of my shopping, being a, you know, bald head girl, I saw this hat. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna go perfect with this hat. With some jeans, some ripped up jeans. You know, and this hat, I would put it on, but it ain't been cleaned. But it's got like this little bill on it. Like, you know, this is handmade, right? We know this is handmade. Um, half a, a half of 198. But yeah, I was like, this will be so cute together. Even though there's pink flowers and this is more like cream and blue and uh, a tan color. I don't have to wear it with this, but it's going to go, this will be a look. This will be an outfit once I put it together to go with my boots, okay? My journey boots, if y'all already seen that video. Um, my journey boots. So for sure, definitely a look. And that oversized sweater, that cutoff sweater, the big hole sweater. So that's gonna be cute. And the last bag, right here we have another oversized sweatshirt 698 half of 698 and this is by bottom i don't know if this is a brand or extra large this is a ladies top sweatshirt and it has a cowboy on it come on come through cowboy a rider yes Again, sticking with my brown, so, you know, a nice pair of brown trousers, some cowgirl boots, and a hat. This hat right here, maybe, no? My other one, maybe, one of them. Um, and I still need to order from Amazon the hat hooks. That's why they're not up there organized just yet, but they will. I'm gonna go ahead and order them maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Y'all know I don't be rushing to spend nobody's money. That's why these bags have been sitting in the kitchen for a minute now because I just buy stuff and then I just let it sit for a second or two. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is nice. I thought this was really cute. It's gonna be oversized, you know, with some leggings, a nice little ball cap or a cowgirl hat or one of my hats. You know what I'm saying? I saw these and I was like, oh my God, these are silk. And they're not, but they felt like silk. Cute little pants. They are a size 12 by Gibson Latimer. And like I said, I was really surprised when I tried them on. There is plenty of room in them. They're, they are not tight at all. They've got the belt loop right there in case I need it. The zipper matches the pants. So, Paid attention to detail and the pockets they're faux pockets no I could open them if I want to but with everything that's going on back there I'm gonna leave them I'm gonna leave the pockets shut I'm not gonna try to rip them open I don't I'm not gonna put anything back there anyway but the pockets in the front do work I did like the fact that they zipped up the back okay so I got that nice flat front and they kind of have like a little bit of a tapered leg, not too much tapered. So I'll be able to wear a pair of heels, a nice little blouse, another blazer or trench coat or something like that. I might try to find a trench coat this color. It's like a dusty, a nice dusty pink. I could wear my kimono robe with it, possibly, maybe, depending on how I'm feeling, if I can pull it off. But that that pink is more on the redder side versus this one with like 
what would you say the undertones of this go this like gray undertones this is a blush pink but I, I, I was really thinking these were silk when I rubbed my hand across the rack. I was like, ooh, what did I touch? And so, let's see what it says here. This is polyester, and it's 100% polyester. But this is a nice polyester. But it will snag if my nails aren't done or if I got a hangnail, this material is going to snag, for sure, for sure. But I could throw it in a washer and run a light iron over them, but they feel really good. They got a nice little sheen to them. I love that little back detail right there, that little detail right there. And then the flat waist. So I think I tried to find a top to go with it, but I was like, I think I have something at home. I'm pretty sure I've got a bodysuit, a nice tank that I could wear with this. This can be worn. I mean, you don't always have to grab something to go with something. You could just be like improvise, right? So I'm learning how to improvise. I don't have to go into the store and get a whole outfit every single time. And then, I've seen another pair of pants with that little cute little detail on the back. These are by Real Comfort by Chadwick's. Now, Chadwick's is a good brand. These are 16 long. And like I said, if I'm a, if I'm a 14, I'm glad these have the belt loops. I like the stitching. It's got that, um, you know, that Wrangler stitching, if you want to call it that. But these are trousers. These aren't, to me, these aren't like jeans but they are made out of 100% cotton. So even though they say they're 16 longs, this might be a fitted pair of trousers because it's 100% cotton and there is no stretch. But I feel confident that when I tried them on, they were loose. And so they probably will continue to be loose. They've got like a square pocket detail. I feel like this person who had these prior to me possibly maybe took them to the cleaners because they look like they you know donated them and they had just took some stuff to the cleaners because you can still see a nice little crease in here um it's got like a wide leg type situation so i can wear a pair of boots with these which the pair of boots that i have from macy's the journey collection is more of a slouch boot so I wouldn't wear those boots with them. So I will need to pick up another pair of boots. Otherwise, I'll wear a pair of heels or a pair of flats with these. But again, I love the flat detail, the waist flat detail. Um, anything with like this hook type closure is going to give you like a flatter midsection. And the zipper is cool. And so it'll look hidden and it'll look flat and seamless even though you know i'm a woman of a mature age but it's just got that flat front so it's gonna look really nice and beautifully oh i can wear the teddy bear shirt with these jeans because that blue i feel like that blue will go perfect with these jeans now every time you go into the thrift store you gonna find some fast fashion every time hands down. You're not going to find silk. You're not going to find cashmere. You're not going to find wool. You're not going to find 100% rayon or 100% acrylic or whatever. But you're going to find some fast fashion, okay? And so this is exactly what this is. <laughs> this is Shein or Shine. No, Shein. And it's the Shein Curve. <laughs> Excuse me. She incurred and it is the zero XL. So I don't know if that stands for just a regular extra large, but why do you have to put a zero in front of it? I don't know. Um, versus a one XL or a two XL. I don't know, but this is supposedly supposed to be curved. Now I know you're going to say, girl, this does not fit your long arms and you're right. And what about it? No. Um, I'm just going to roll up the sleeve like so like that because it's a crop jacket anyway. 
you know it would have been nice if the sleeves were long for versatility but we're gonna roll up the sleeves and i may wear like a knit like this you know this does not match these buttons don't go like this is like a blue plaid in my opinion it's a blue plaid it's not a black plaid mixed in here it's more of a blue and the buttons are black but i got it because of the idea of those jeans i could wear this with um one of those knit fitted outfits you know the ones you get from ross and tj maxx and just pop this over it and still look you know polished or look put together or whatever so whatever i wear it might be you know fitted and i want a little jacket or something you know but the buttons didn't really do it for me the pockets are faux pockets like literally that was a waste of fabric i mean there's nothing going in here because it's not even got a back to the pocket it's just the flap okay and so again it's a cute little crop jacket and we'll just scrunch up the sleeves like so like that and bada boom bada bing and just you know go wherever we're going but you're always guaranteed to find um fast fashion might not be current fast fashion but you're gonna find some fast fashion that you can just kind of well i only paid you know three dollars for you know 350 for it or whatever um 6.98 so you know, I didn't pay that much for it. You know what I mean? Whereas someone who paid full price for Shein, possibly, maybe, paid full price for Shein, they couldn't wear it and they decided to give it away. And so you're just kind of helping out the landfill and deciding to make something of it. I like the, it does have like a little dart in the back, you know, so that's gonna be cute. That's gonna be cute, button it up maybe at the bottom. With those, um, let me show you. With these pants, I was thinking this shirt would go. And it, and for the most part, it does. Because these pants have like a gold sheen to them. Like a, a gold metallic -y sheen. Like once you see it on in person, it, it, it looks like a gold sheen. So that's why I picked up something to go with these pants. <laughs> Even though I know I've got some bodysuits or I've got just some tanks that I could just wear with it. But I just liked this. Once again, 100% polyester. We know it's 100% polyester. It's an extra large, but it does not fit like an extra large. Okay? It could have said 3XL and it still wouldn't fit like a 3XL. This is super fitted. So it will be tight. It will look like a bodysuit on your girl. So just get prepared to be sick of me. But I liked the the jewels on the front. So all I need to wear is a pair of studs. Look at how cute that is. Super, super cute. Um, love the iridescent. Um, it looks to me, someone really took their time and probably hand washed it or they put it in one of those garment bags so that these beads do not fall off because it, it appears that they're all on and there's none missing it appears from what i can see the design looks balanced and yeah um the sleeves didn't have they just have those studs or those little rhinestone things on there so I'm going to get a little bedazzle out of this, honey. This will snag as well. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, this is by Lucky7. I'm pretty sure this is going to snag if I do not have my nails. Uh, moisture wrap, yep. 80% polyester and 20% cotton. So very little, no spandex, but the polyester con, con, polyester cotton mix gives it a stretch but it's not stretchy once you put it on over your undergarments and everything yeah but it's a cute it's gonna be a cute little outfit it's gonna be a cute little outfit probably wear my journey collection boots because they have that cream that cream feel that cream in here and the lace detail 
So I think this is gonna be a really cute outfit. So that's that. Oh, another sports bra. Once again, like I said, people buy stuff in excess and then they say, oh, I have too many of these, so I'm gonna donate it. It, it does not look worn, used. It looks like it came from Amazon and someone just donated like a bunch of, you know, unused undergarments. And so you can never have enough undergarments that have not been used. And this has not been used. Can't tell who is by, but yep, yeah, that's it for my no thrift in February. For the month of February, we will not be thrifting. We will be thrifting our closet. So, if that's something that you're interested in, that will be my video content for February. Will be this room getting redecorated or uh, just straightened and made nice, cleaning the walls and just kind of organizing. I've been organizing my drawers, getting them all lined with some felt. And then I will be thrifting my closet. So I will be putting together looks and outfits for the month of February because we will not be doing any thrifting in February. So we're gonna hold off on thrifting in February. So. That's what the rest of the month looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting, subscribing, doing all the things that YouTubers tell you to do. I'm going to go and watch the state of dress. And you guys have a great Taco Tuesday. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Ah.